Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I am the Humble Gamer and this is more Pokemon Yellow. Now, uh, it's been about an hour since I last finished recording, uh, if not a bit longer, and um, in fact it's been nearly two hours. So, um, during that time I've obviously had a rest, I've had some dinner, and I have um, trained my Pokemon up. So this is the team I've got now. I've got Fangs at level 14, Nazaran, which is of course a Nidoran at level 12. Fangs is a Rathata, if you haven't seen the first two episodes. And Rockymon, my Pikachu, is still at level 8. Now the reason I had to train them that high is because Fangs uh, obviously now has more hit points, but also knows Hyper Fang, which could come in very useful against uh, the Rock-type Pokemon. Uh, it's not specifically good against Rock-type Pokemon, but it's a stronger move than the other ones have. But that he has. And Nazaran, obviously again, has leveled up and also has Double Kick, which may not do a lot of damage, but it can do multiple times of damage. So now we're going to go straight into the gym and we're going to do this for as long as it takes to get the first badge. Pewter City Pokemon Gym, leader Brock, the rock solid Pokemon trainer. Well, I'm hoping to uh, chisel, him, chisel him down to, uh, to gravel a little bit. So let's talk to the aide. Hiya! I can tell you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm not, I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yeah, sure. All right, let's get happening. It'll be tough for your Pikachu at this gym. Electric attacks are harmless to Brock's ground type Pokemon. So we've got to use the Rattata and the Nidoran or Fangs and Nazaran. So here we go, the first official Pokemon League battle is a training battle against this guy. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. We'll get to why that's in the wrong sense at the end of the battle. Hopefully. Junior trainer male wants to fight. Sent out Diglett. Okay. Go on, Fangs. You've got a level advantage. And you've got Hyper Fang. Okay, so that's going to be good. Okay, he's about to use Sand True. Will Humble change Pokemon? Yes, I will. Let's give... Nazaran a go, because we've got to test both of them. We know that um, obviously the levels are different for Brock Pokemon, but we know that Hyper Fang is at least going to do some damage. Let's do Double Kick, shall we? Yeah, I didn't think it would be particular effect particularly effective. Hit enemy two times. Oh no, it's not not effective. Okay, so in that case, I could be I could be in good shape here with these two Pokemon. Obviously, Pikachu is useless to me. Um, doesn't even have a quick attack yet, so not it couldn't even go down that route if I needed to. So, we should get this one done relatively swiftly, but you never know what could happen in the, in the battle, so um, I didn't think it'd be that easy, I thought this would be a longer episode, so either way, we defeated the junior trainer. Darn, light years isn't time, it measures distance. Yes, it does. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. I don't know, Brock is pretty hot, I'll give him that. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. That's my Brock impression. I'm no good at impressions of these characters. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all. Oh, sorry. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. Okay, here we go. Official Pokemon League gym battle for number one. Brock sent out Geodude. Not a surprise. Go Fangs. Hyper Fang. Oh, you missed, bugger. That's the other thing. You can have a strong Pokemon, but if it doesn't, if it, its attacks don't hit, then you're in trouble. Oh no, it isn't very effective against Rock type Pokemon. But he flinched. Okay, that's that's something. Okay, so the thing is, the trainer was Ground type Pokemon, whereas this is Rock type Pokemon. That's an entirely different kettle of fish. And I've got the Onyx up next, so. Okay, right, we're gonna save. Because Fang, he's only got one last attack. Well, he's got nine attacks with quick with Hyper Fang. He's only got one little bit of damage to do, so. We'll save Hyper Fang and do quick attack. That easily kills Geodude. Enemy Geodude fainted. Fang's gained 183 experience points. He's about to use Onyx. Yes, I will change Pokemon. I want to see what Nazaran's gonna do against an Onyx. And also, it gives Fang's a chance to rest. Not that it matters in this game, but I like to roleplay it. Okay, so let's see what Double Kick does. Probably not a lot. Oh, it's super effective. Oh, well, there we go. Hit the enemy two times with a super effective attack. Well, I mean, you know. So Double Kick is good against Rock Pokemon. 
You must remember that for future reference. <laughs> ah, bind is going to be an issue. Nazaran can't move. That's the problem with Onyx. It can do that. But fortunately, I've still got um, fangs. Onyx is using bind. And Naz is double kick. Okay, come on, Naz. You can knock out the Onyx. But of course, now. There we go. Done. Yes! That took. Six minutes in total, which was far less than I thought it was going to take. And uh, Nazaran grew to level 13. Okay, so. Three more levels till Nazaran evolves. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. Humble received the Boulder Badge. Yay! That's an official Pokemon League badge. Its bearer's Pokemon become more powerful. The technique Flash can now be used any time. And we've got... Oh, 1100! Oh, good, I can buy some potions with that. Wait, take this with you. It's dangerous to go alone. TM34, is that rock throw? The TM contains a technique that can be taught to a Pokemon. The TM is a good only once, so when you use one to teach a Pokemon, teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains Bide by this one. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double. Okay, so that's that's the Pewter City Gym. That was easier than I thought it was going to be, and the second one could be quite easy as well. Just as I thought, you're, you're a Pokemon champ material. Yay! Okay, so we've got the badge, so I think it's probably time to to save there. Yes, I would like to save the game. Uh, in that case, we'll go as far as Mount Moon in the next episode then. In this episode, so that'll give us something else to aim for, because just outside of Pewter City is, of course, Mount Moon. Oh, and of course, this is the fossil thing. Pewter Museum of Science. I can't do it. You can't do anything there. You can go in and have a look at the um, the fossils of Pokemon, but you can't actually. It's fifty pounds for a child's ticket. Uh, no, I would not like to come in. But later on, when you get the cut move, you can come back and you can um, collect the old amber, which means you can collect some uh, some rare Pokemon. So, okay, let's heal up the team and then head out to Mount Moon. Now we've got um, a Poison Stroke Normal type. Um, in Nidoran. We've got an Electro-type in Pikachu who he will be replaced later in the game, but probably after Cerulean City because, you know, I might as well give him a shining moment. And then we've also got a, another normal type in Rathata, so we really need at least a fire and water and flying, so... Hope to see you again. Yes, I'm sure you will. So, and I've also got to go and buy some potions before we hit Mount Moon because <laughs> Mount Moon's a bitch. We need to get some different kinds of Pokemon. That's definitely a thing that needs to happen. Uh, we'll get four potion. That'll be 1200. Yep, that's fine. Everything's really expensive in this world. Um, Pokemon training is, is a very expensive hobby. Okay, here we go. So we're on to Route 3 now. A lot of trainer battles here, so you'll probably see a fair few of them, but you won't see all of them. So here we go. You looked at me, didn't you? Uh, yes, yes I did. Why not? Let's go with that. I should probably put Pikachu at the top so we can start training him for Cerulean City. Oh well, last wants to fight. What's she going to use? She's going to send out a Pidgey. I uh, don't need to train Fangs really now, so I'm going to swap him straight for Rocky Mont. Thundershock! And he's going to be dead, surely. At least halfway down. No, halfway down, yeah. Enemy Pidgey used Sand Attack. Accuracy fell. Thundershock! And he's dead! Super effective, yeah it is. Fang's getting 51, Mockingmon getting 51. That's about to use Pidgey. Will Humble change Pokemon? No, I will not. So this is another sort of fighty, um, really fighty part of the game, battling your way as far as Mount Moon. But I want to get to at least the outskirts of Mount Moon before I end this episode. So again, you probably won't see too many of the fights. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. Oh, it's a bug catcher. Yay! Go Rockymon. First of all, let's well let's thunder shock it because we might as well. Although I might use thunder wave at some point to paralyze a particularly dangerous enemy. Thunder shock, thunder shock, and done. There we go, critical hit. Yay! Rocky one, level up to level nine. Yeah, there we go. Go Nazaram and use your scratch attack because that's an attack. There are some Pokemon I want to catch in between here and um, Cerulean City though. I'm looking, seriously looking for a flying Pokemon because I know that um, Spearow appears here. And I want to get that up to a Fearow as 
quickly as possible so I can start doing fighty attacks against enemies that could cause me trouble. I defeated Bugcatcher, yay! Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. What the fuck? Why does that even matter? Uh, is that a battle cry? Is that really a battle cry? Okay, now you're paralysed. That, because he's level 11, so he's going to have a quick attack, so... That, yes, he's thoroughly... Fully paralysed. And he gets quick attack away, of course, the very next move. And knocks out Rockymon. Okay, so I'm down to two Pokemon until we get to Mount Moon. What isn't Double Kick super effective against? Oh, no, it's a fighting move, isn't it? And, of course, he's a normal Pokemon, so fighting... Yes, of course, that makes sense. Now I get it. But, of course, there's still, at this point in the game, you haven't got to the story of it. Because there is a story. Um, not just the story of you attacking... There is going around and beating up people's pets. But there is a genuine bit of story going on in Kanto. It does take a long time to introduce it, I'll be honest. As a game, it did take a long time. Don't get me wrong, I loved catching the Pokemon, and I still love catching the Pokemon and getting all the new stuff, but, you know, levelling up and things like that. But it does take a long time to get to the story. TM34. Which of TM it contains Bide? Does anyone, can anyone do Bide? Uh, fangs can do Bide, so I'll let Fangs do it. Forgot the Tail Whip and learn Bide! Yay! Are you a trainer? Let's fight! With Pokemon! Okay, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. You wanna fight? Okay. Oh, you mean with Pokemon. Oh, okay. Take it out. And stop using String Shot. Scratch it! I will change Pokemon. To Fangs. And use Hyperphone. That'll do some damage to it. It'll knock it out in one go, in fact. So Fangs knocked him out. That's good. He's about to use Metapod. I was right! Yes, I will. Out you go, Nazaram. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. Well, you didn't, so you didn't. Hey, I'm not wearing short. Does it matter that I'm not wearing shorts? It's like, is, is Kakanto like, you know, is this like the shorts capital of the world? Oh, he sent out a Spearow. This would be perfect if I had Pikachu! Oh, Nazaram goes to level 15. One more level until Nazaram evolves. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. I just went. I wonder what look I gave her. Last one's to fight. Go, Nazaran, and don't get confused because it's not that rapid though. Uh, double kick. Oh. Oh, that, oh, that's, that's painful to watch. Oh, that did some serious, that did some serious damage. I'm about to use Nidoran. Well, in that case, I shall mirror up and use my Rattata. Okay, let's try Bide. Good, you used Tapple, that's positive. And Horn Attack. Okay, this is going to make Bide... Quite useful. Gave it back double. Ooh. Ooh, you see, Bide is going to be very. If you've got a strong Pokemon that is capable of taking hits, is essentially your tank, Bide is a good move, and Fangs is my most um, hit pointy Pokemon. Be nice! You challenge me to a battle for being intriguing. You can fight my new Pokemon. Alright then, I will! What are your new Pokemon? What am I fighting? Bugcatcher sent out. Caterpie! <laughs> Here we go. Scratch. Scratch. String shot missed. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Go, Fangs. You know what you're going to do. You're going to do Hyper Fang Fangs. Hyper Fang Fangs. Sweet. Done and done. Fangs get 169 experience points. Done like dinner. I'm going to just nip round this trainer because I'm fairly sure that down here there is a Pokemon Center. I need to, if I'm going to, because in that grass I can catch Pokemon like, um, have I got this right? Yes, I have. Here's the Pokemon Center. Yes. I have got this right, so let's go to the Pokemon Center. Down there, I know I can catch, I think I can catch like a Spearow, um, and possibly things like a Jigglypuff as well, although I can get them inside Mount Moon. Route 3. I can catch a Spearow, a Sandshrew, and a Mankey. I certainly want a Spearow. So I can do some fighting type moves, that's uh, flying type moves. And first up we have a Spearow. Wild Spearow appeared, level 8. So go Rocky Mon. Okay, first of all, let's Thunder Wave it. Let's paralyze it. May not attack. Spearow used Peck. I was surprised. And then please don't knock it out first time. Please don't knock it out first time. Yes, perfect! Perfect. I would have had a Pidgey, by the way, but again, if you didn't see, if you haven't seen episode one yet, the reason I'm doing it like this is because I don't want to use Ash's Pokemon apart from Pikachu, which I'll replace later in the game. Pressing B. There we go. Spearow is caught. 
New Pokedex will be added for Spearow. Yes, it will. Tiny Bird Pokemon. Inept at flying high. However, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. Do I want to give a nickname to Spearow? Yes, I do. It's going to be called, wait for it, Agent Flyin. Yeah. Agent Flyin. Yeah. Okay, so now do I want a Mankey or a Sandshrew? One is more common than the other. At this point. And that is the least common of the two. So I shall go for a Sandshrew. Right, fine. First of all, paralyze the bastard. Oh, it doesn't affect it. Bugger! I'm gonna have to do... Okay, right. Um... Nazaran. No, Fangs. I can do... Yeah, okay, I'll just tackle it. Do not kill it, Fangs! Do not kill it! I want this Sandshrew. Let's just do Tackle. Just do nothing complicated, let's just run into it a few times. Because then when I've done this, I can end this episode here because I've done everything I need to do to get to Mount Moon. Okay, I'm not going to attack it anymore because he will get knocked out. Item. Pokeball. And we'll use Pokeball. Pressing B. And it works! Sandshrew was caught! Yes! Good. New Pokedex later will be added for Sandshrew. Its body is dry when it gets cold at night. Its hide is said to become coated with a fine dew. Do you want to give a nickname to Sandshrew? Yes, I do. Fire Sand? Fire... Come on, everybody, it's the Fire Sand. Yeah, Fire Sands. So there we go, we've now got the team... More, well, not complete, but we need obviously we need to add a few more Pokemon, but, and there's a couple I want to catch in um, uh, Mount Moon. But we've got... Rockymon, Nazaran, Fangs, Agent Flyin, and Fire Sands. So we are referencing those. So I shall nip back up to the Pokemon Center, and I shall hear my Pokemon off camera, just so that you guys can head off and prepare for the next installment where we go through Mount Moon, where hopefully we'll get to some fucking story. In fact, I say hopefully, I know we'll get to some fucking story. But again, it depends on how much battling I have to do and where I have to split episodes. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please do like and subscribe. Check out um, Pixelmon, our Minecraft Pokemon game, uh, in the description below. There might be more of that coming at some point, but I don't know. So, we shall uh, see you again in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I am the Humble Gamer. That was Pokemon Yellow. Goodbye. Oh! You little bitch! <laughs>